All right, what's good, YouTube? So I noticed a bunch of y'all starting to dig the blood pythons. So today I'm gonna show off a couple females. Seeing how it falls right around the corner, I have to move these girls up into their adult racks. So I'm gonna show you where I keep them as sub-adults or young adult females, and then the adult racks. I also have to get a weight on these girls. I like my animals around 12 pounds before breeding them. So I have to see if I need to increase, decrease feeding, or keep them at the steady pace. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with the rack. This is an ARS 70 30 series rack. It's uh, the tubs to this are the 70 series. They're gonna be very similar to um, Vision 70 series tubs and Freedom Breeder 70 series tubs. I definitely prefer these tubs a little more though because they have a little bit more floor space, whereas the Vision and the um, Freedom Breeders they come more um, they come more inwards when they come to the bottom, so they're they're a little tighter floor space wise. So. These are definitely the best, I would say, for like um, blood pythons and uh, really large adult ball pythons. Now, it's not a, a crazy, crazy like difference in um, the amount of space, but it's more than enough where it's noticeable when you're keeping like a you know a big, say, 3,000, 4,000 gram female ball python in it. You could definitely tell the difference with these versus um, the Freedom Breeder. They look like it's a lot tighter of a fit. So we're gonna start with this blood python right here that I have to get out. Cause this girl actually just shed earlier. So now if you see her in the tub, all the way back there, and this is about the size I wanna start moving them out. Let's get over here. So that would be like a, a really large female ball python. But she's a, this girl's a young adult blood python, or sub-adult, you could say. All right, let's get a weight on this one. Let's take a better look at this girl real quick. Here we go. You all right? All right. So that's a female pixel. That's 100% heifer T plus albino. She's basically a bat golden eye combo. Let's see if I can get her head in. There we go. These are going to be a lot more difficult to keep still than a ball python. All right. All right, so let's get a good look at her real quick before I weigh her and put her away. All right, so this is typically about the size that I'm gonna start moving my grills out of those um, 70 series size tubs. Let's get this on. You all right? All right, so yeah, with blood pythons, we do it by uh, pounds, not grams. So let's tear that back. Let me see if I could get her into this tub without moving too much. There we go. All right, so she's eight pounds. You see that? Now let's see what that is gram wise. So 3,790 grams for you ball python people. And then back to the pounds. So she's not too far away. I'm gonna start feeding her up a little heavier. Get her to that 12 pound mark by four. 
And let's get on to this next one. So here's the next female. So she let go of my hand. There we go. Get her into the shot a lot better. Bring your head over here. There you go. All right, so this is a Magpie Batik, 100% head for T plus albino. So she's a super golden eye Batik, head for caramel albino. Quick look at her. She's a little smaller, seven pounds. All right, let's get her out of here. Alright, so this one's really cool. Let's get you in there. There you go. You're alright. Stay right there. Stay right there. Alright, let's get a quick look at this one. This is just a golden eye. 100% heifer T plus albino. So she doesn't have a whole lot of jeans in her. But she um she came out really crazy looking. Lots of blacks. She was real bright yellow when she was born. So that's going to be something to work on. See all that rich black in her. Almost got like a Batman look to her. Let's get our weight. There you go. All right. All right, so another one that's just under eight pounds. Um, we get the fourth and last female out. All 
All right, so we have another Magpie Batik, 100% heifer T plus albino. But this one is a lot more extreme than the other girl I showed. And I'll show you why in a minute. Just stay right there. Stay right there. There we go. Let's give this one a good look. All right, so watch this one. Look how much more black spotting or freckling she has coming in. Her pink's a lot darker too. And then I love the face to these guys. They have the Day of the Dead look to them. Really crazy look to the face. Like I said, all that black comes all the way around. It's all over the place. I gotta show you the belly on this one real quick before we weigh her. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's get this weight. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. Stay right there. Right there. Stay. Stay. There you go. So this one's eight pounds. So yeah. Seems about right. All these girls have been on the same feeding schedule since the day I produced them. I produced all four. face the camera all right so I'm going to show you the adult racks I like to keep my females in and then I'm going to show you uh, another animal that's about almost 13 pounds just to give you an idea Alright, so here's the ARS 86T model. These tubs are around three foot by two foot or close to it. And I really like using these for almost all my females. I keep them around, the females usually around 12 to 15 pounds. They do really well in these tubs. Anything bigger than that, you're probably gonna want something with more height or an extra foot in length. But this girl here is what, almost 13 pounds. So this tub will give you an idea on her size versus the rest of the tub. Let's get a quick look at her real quick. But yeah, you can see she's got enough space in there. Let's get out of this corner. A little bit right here. 
All right, so this girl's on normal, 100% heifer T plus albino. And this was the very first animal I produced in the blood pythons back in 2014. She's the only one I held back, basically from my first blood python clutch. And that's just a normal for you, just to show you how red they are as well. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Later.